These are the worst things that can happen to any of us. And, you know, the average age of the victims is between 12 and 23 months. These are toddlers. These are kids who finally got the freedom to walk around and are exploring everywhere. They are in the wrong place at the wrong time. Senator Hillary Clinton on the tragic number of children who are crushed because drivers in SUVs can't see them when they back up. She supports a proposal to require a warning device that alerts drivers to a child standing in the vehicle's blind spot. Our top consumer story tonight, the more than 2,400 children who are seriously injured every year and 100 killed in driveways. And while it sounds like carelessness, our consumer correspondent Greg Hunter found that the design of the ever larger family vehicles like SUVs play a major part in back over accidents. You'll see right now. <laughs> Four-year-old Jackson Peck wanted to be a superhero. He liked to wear a costume wherever he went. Superman was his favorite. My last words were him, do you know how much I love you? So, I feel very blessed to have that time with him. Jackson's parents never imagined that moment with their son 10 months ago would be their last. It was two days before Christmas. Jackson's grandmother dropped him off to go caroling with other grandchildren. As she backed up the family's SUV, Jackson ran behind the vehicle, but she didn't see him. With the children screaming in horror, Jackson's grandmother backed over him. He was gone instantly. They didn't hear a sound when the car backed over him. When they pulled it back off of him, he, was, he didn't make a sound. Jackson's story isn't unusual. All these children were killed in back over accidents, and the numbers are growing. Jeanette Fennell, founder of the safety group Kids in Cars, tracks these tragedies because the government doesn't. She discovered 100 deaths a year on average, two children backed over and killed each week, typically in a driveway with a parent or relative behind the wheel. Our little children do not have to die this way. All of these incidents are not only predictable, they're 100% preventable. Safety advocates say most people know there are blind spots behind every vehicle, but they often don't realize how big that blind spot can be. More and more people are buying bigger and bigger vehicles, and the bigger the vehicle, the bigger the blind spot. Consumer Reports routinely tests vehicles for blind spots. To illustrate just how much size can matter, we went to its auto test track using 28-inch high cones, about the height of a small child. Testing director David Champion will mark where the driver in this sedan first sees the cone. Still can't see it. Nope, further back. Okay, that's good. Now he measures the distance from the cone to the car. It's 10 feet, 10 inches. But watch what happens with larger vehicles like this minivan. 18 feet, 1 inch. Or this SUV. 25 feet, 10 inches. And how far away is the cone from this truck? 46 feet, 9 inches. Now look at the dramatic results. In this case, the truck's blind spot is more than four times greater than the sedan's. Consumer Reports also points out the shorter the driver, the bigger the blind spot can be. On these big vehicles where we see something like 20, 30, 40 feet of blind spot behind, that is where the problems are. That is where the deaths we are seeing with back over accidents are occurring. Backing up in a big SUV can be deceiving. You can't see anything from that vantage point, can you? And when I check my mirrors, driver's side, rear view, and passenger, it looks clear to me too. But if I get out of the vehicle and walk behind it, I've got a little surprise for you. Hello, kids. Hello. 29 school kids from East Haddam Elementary School in Connecticut, all hidden dangerously out of view. Nobody knows whether it's a vehicle problem or is it a personal problem. Is it because somebody didn't check behind the vehicle or is it because of lack of vision? CNN contacted the automaker's trade group. It sent us to this man, Ron DeFore. He represents SUV Owners of America, an organization partially funded by car companies. We aren't addressing this issue right now. So 2,400 kids a year being backed over, 100 kids a year dying, how many kids have to die or be hurt before you'll address the issue? The most important thing that we fo focus on is how many lives can be saved in an SUV as opposed to moving to a smaller vehicle. DeFore says 
there's not enough data to require automakers to come up with a fix. You need to be able to see when you're going backwards. You can't just kind of close your eyes and hope there's nothing back there. To help drivers see better, some car makers are offering new options like bumper sensors. If someone gets too close, this sonar signal shows the location. And a few manufacturers also sell a backup camera, like this one. Shift into reverse, and the navigation screen switches to a live picture of what's behind the vehicle. Consumer Report says, based on its research, this technology should be required. I would have all the motor manufacturers that produce these bigger vehicles put backup cameras on all of them. That is a very dangerous public policy because you start pricing the, the, uh, the vehicles well beyond what a lot of people can afford. How much is a, a life worth? How, you can't put a price on that. At Jackson Peck's funeral, everyone wore Superman t-shirts. His parents set up a foundation for needy children, so their son will be remembered as the superhero he wanted to be. But they say their lives will never be the same. To lose a child that was loud and rambunctious and full of life is, is you can't imagine. You can actually kill your own child, which, which is the worst uh, tragedy. It's a double-edged sword. I mean, it's guilt along with, with, with killing someone that you love dearly. According to the latest findings from Consumer Reports, the SUV with the longest rear blind zone is the Jeep Commander Limited. It's a midsize. For a driver five foot one inches tall, the blind zone is, listen to this, 69 feet. Compare that to the best in that category, the 2005 Nissan Pathfinder LE. The blind zone is just 18 feet. Now, Daimler Chrysler, which makes Jeep, told us that the Consumer Reports test was done with that third row seat up, and that cut down on visibility. Also, the company says it already offers a system that gives an audible warning when backing up as standard equipment, and the 2007 models of the Commander will have a rear view camera as standard equipment. All right, so if it's not offered as standard equipment, how much does it cost to install one of these backup cameras in any vehicle? To retrofit, it's about $1,000, but Jeanette Fennell told me uh, just uh, last night that 50 kids a week are getting backed over, about 100 a year die. That is an amazing statistic. It should put a chill down all of our spines whenever we put uh, those big, fat SUVs into reverse. More a car. Learned a lot by watching your report. Thanks, Greg. Thank Appreciate you. it. We're gonna move on.